Hi, I'm Jenny Luo from Taiwan Plus. Today we are talking to Rex Sha, whose recent short film got nominated in this year's Sundance Asia Film Festival. Welcome, Rex. Hello, hello everyone. I'm Rex Sha. I'm director of Unexpected Passenger. It's my honor to be here. Thank you for coming in today. Could you please introduce this film to us? Oh, this story is about a taxi driver who pick up an unexpected passenger, and do during their way to the destination, he find out the passenger has some purpose on it. This film is trying to convey like different concept and motion to the audience. Like for example, in the beginning, I tried to, uh, to terrify the audience, and in the middle, I tried to entertain and make the audience laugh, and in the last, I want to make uh, an audience cry. So yeah. I think this kind of short film is trying to convey like several like, emotions to the audience and make the cross genre and mix them together. Well, your strategy actually worked. Because yeah, I watched the film, I can feel the emotion roller coaster <laughs> that you're trying to give the audience. Yeah, thank you. Right. Yeah, how to make the story like all together with like harmony together, I think is it's quite a big challenge for me. So did you write the script yourself? Yeah, I write myself. So how long did it take for you to write the script and to come up with the concept? It takes about a few days, I guess. It didn't take long for the concept because in the beginning I was thinking, what should be my next film? Besides from the horror movie, what can I add into this story? So I think of like comedy can be one of it. Why do you pick Taxi Driver as your protagonist? Well, in the beginning, because uh, the budget is limited. So I was thinking maybe I can limit the scene and the place. So I think of the story in the, happen in the car. So it come out as the driver. So during the filming, what is the biggest challenge? The shooting time uh, totally is like 12 hours because the budget is kind of <laughs> low. So I have to finish in one day. Yeah, I think the weather and the time is the biggest challenge because in the origin setting, uh, I was not expect the place will be raining. But during the shooting time, uh, the rain is pretty heavy. So a lot of playing are disrupted. For example, we trying to shoot the car driving like the, act, the actor who he drive himself, but the rain is too heavy. So we have to change to um, make the car stop and use the lighting and use the technique of the photographer to make the car look like actually moving. Wow, but I was fooled. <laughs> <laughs> I completely believe that it really? was a moving car. <laughs> but, but you got a very talented actor as well. Yeah, but, yeah. It's, it's my honor to like work together with like very experienced actor and actress. And as you can see, the, the actor, uh, Yuan Shun, he have like a work in Taiwan's film, right? Yes. And the actress is a rising star. Her first movie is called Sadness. It's kind of like scary movie. So I find some similar element to the character. So I pick her. During the scene, uh, in the last one, in the tunnel, uh, there is a scene when the driver father has a uh, fun time with her, her daughter. So you can see there's a scene like he's like playing and dancing in the car is actually not written in the script. So uh, the actor, Yuan Shun, he showed me how uh, an experienced actor can improvise on spot. So I was very surprised. Wow, because these two actors really carry the whole film. Yeah, 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 because all the film is have two characters, right? So they have to make the story to catch the audience's eyes. So is there any other thing that you're working at the moment? What is your next project? Can you talk about that? Well, uh, after this shooting, I also have uh, television films, which in post-productions will be released maybe in October. And in September, I also have a short film, which in prepare. So what is the story about the next short film? Can you talk about uh, that? It's a little bit and like a Western movie, which has a cowboy and we will shoot in Taichung. There is a horse stable, mm -hmm. we will shoot in there. I think it's quite unique setting for the short film. So what, what are the advantages of filming in Taiwan? Uh, I think the most important is money. So in Taiwan, we have a lot of fund we can apply for. And also the scene in Taiwan is quite unique from other country. 
the street, the neighborhood, and we got a lot of the mountain, the sea. We have a lot of place we can shoot. It makes the film like very unique from the, the other. And also, I think uh, in Taiwan, we can use like lower budget to make like bigger film because the price is relatively lower than, than filming abroad. Will you encourage other film directors or filmmakers to make movies here in Taiwan? Well, although Taiwan is kind of small, but we have a diverse culture. So when you shoot in Taiwan, mm. we can have like different culture, like from the, uh, the north and the south. They're totally different. If you want to shoot in the mountain, maybe it takes like 30 minutes time to go to the mountain, maybe 30 minutes to go to, go to the sea. Yeah. So the traffic time is short, so we can go from the city to mountain in like very short time. So and also we have like several resources and places we can choose in Taiwan. So I think uh, it's quite convenient to shoot in Taiwan. Thank you. I think you need to let other filmmakers in the Sundance Asia Film Festival know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so speaking of the festivals, what are your plans in the upcoming festival? Well, uh, this is my uh, first time to uh, interact with the festival from abroad. So I was very excited and I hope I can have a conversation with the festival crew. So I wish you a very wonderful and a rewarding experience at the Sundance Asia Film Festival. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching today's episode. If you enjoy our show, don't forget to like and subscribe to Taiwan Plus.